Today I want to show you how to wrap a basket with tulle. Uh, tulle is transparent, it's sheer, and it makes a really pretty wedding basket or bridal shower basket, baby basket, anything feminine and pretty. Uh, it's a nice way to cover a basket. I used the 24 inch by 25 yards roll of tulle and I chose ivory because I'm going to do an ivory and gold theme which would work for wedding or anniversary. The first thing I did was cut two pieces of tulle because I have a large basket and my basket is not round, it's rather oval so I have a short side and a long side. So I had to cut two pieces of tulle, uh, two different lengths, so I started my short side, I pulled my tulle off the roll and up so that I have about a foot left over at the top and I cut it that way. I will take this all together and put it with a twist tie temporarily while I work with the sides. Now I want to show you a little trick with this on a large basket. When you lay this tool out, you're going to take your two pieces and cross them over as close to the center of your uh, tool as you can. And the side that is going to be your handle side, I want that side on the top of your fold. I've got one piece down, laid down flat, but the side that's going to come up over your handle needs to be on top because we're going to pull it up first. And I'll show you why in a few minutes, so you'll understand. This is going to come up, and I'm going to just grab it, hold it right here while I pull these up to the center and stretch it around the top as much as I can. Take the back one. Pull it up. I've got way too much on this one. I cut it way too long. We'll cut that all off. And I'm going to secure that with a twist tie. Okay. Now, with the sides, you see I have a very a strange little opening here. It doesn't go all the way around my basket and it's not very pretty. So we've got to dis we've got to pull this up and disguise it and I'm actually going to use a hot glue gun to take this and I'm going to glue it right to the side of my basket. But I'm going to cover that up and disguise it later with a ribbon tail. So we're going to pull that up, hold it with your hand and if you've got a low temp hot glue gun you're going to be better. Mine is not so I've got to be careful that I don't burn myself. So I'm going to just glue that together right there hold it and put enough glue on there to hold it all together to the handle and that will be disguised later. Okay, I've got that secured. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I have my basket secured on both sides. Of course your basket is going to be full of beautiful goodies. I will left mine empty so I want it to be easier for you to see how the tool works. I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to leave it a little longer than I might before I'm finished so that I can trim it some more if I want to after I add my hand. Okay, now I'm ready to tie on my bow. Uh, as you see, I've got a big loopy bow. It's made with wired ribbon and I tied in some little golden berries that I thought would just really make this pretty. The prettier you make your bow, the bigger and loopier and this will also attract the eye to the bow rather than anything you may have going on on the sides, but we're still going to disguise it. So I've got long, I left long, long tails on this bow. So I'm going to tie it on by the long tails, pull it right into the, that's going to be this uh, middle, the front and I'm going to tie it on and then we're going to work on the disguising our sides. Now we can always hot glue our bow into place but right now I'm going to take these long tails I've got and we're going to pull those down, let them loop down and I'm going to just tack them a little bit with my hot glue right here to the sides of my basket and bring it right down to my area that I want to disguise and I'm going to glue it over that. And then I'm going to cut them off at the bottom 
And I'm going to make turn it around and do the other side exactly the same way. Now you want to arrange your bow to be pretty, however you like it. Just arrange those loops. I love wire ribbon because you can play with it all you want until you're happy with the effect. I'm okay with my tool on the top. And you're all done. What do you think?